Hello. How's it going, YouTube? And yeah. welcome to a new episode of Toner Edition. Wow. We got a little host, little Alvin. <laughs> big host, big Alvin. And we have uh, pretty much a fun filled episode. Obviously, what? little dude is over here playing in the pool. It is hot today. We're in 100 degrees, you know, above 100 degrees, and we're just sweltering. We got that dry heat going. I know it's not none of that humidity, but uh, it's still pretty dang hot out here. <laughs> so at least I got uh, more sunshades up. Um, I'll kind of talk about that in a future video so you guys can actually see how it looks and all that fun stuff. Very stoked about how it turned out. Um, it does give us some shade in the backyard where we didn't have it before, so it's very, very nice. Um, but anyway, he's going to be playing the pool. I have my wife watching him behind the camera just to make sure if I'm not paying attention like right now uh, nothing happens to him and we can actually get to him but he's actually been doing amazing in the pool so far he's been out here for like a well over an hour just experiencing the pool but um, anyway in today's video we're gonna be adding this to the Swin bike trailer this is a trailer reflective tape um, it's kind of meant for areas so um, I'm gonna say so people uh, you yeah, don't run in trailers and stuff like that so it adds a little more reflection so you don't have to have lights um, so this will pretty much work off of other vehicles that have lights and all that good stuff um, I did add it onto the stroller to kind of play with it for about a week just to see how I kind of like it you guys can kind of see it here um, on the edge it's kind of just peeling up just a little bit uh, my mistake was I should have cut it into smaller strips just to make it uh, you know kind of just to make it work a little better and easier but um, other than that, I'll, like I said, I'll just take a razor blade and just trim that access off there. Um, and yeah, so anyway, we're going to do it. We're going to come over to this one trailer and any parts where I can actually take this on, I'm going to cut them into size and actually start to put them on the trailer and kind of just load up the trailer like crazy uh, just so we can uh, be as safe as possible. Obviously, we do live in Los Angeles and people do do crazy things out here. Um, in our area alone, we do have people coming in doing donuts and all that good stuff. So we're going to try to get this done as fast as possible and see if we can uh, show you guys how it looks. Woo! All right, guys. So as you can kind of see here, um, it does have a little bit of dust. I've been kind of trying to wipe it off. Uh, main reason is we've been, you know, we've been taking it out and using it. Um, I did get a Bafang e-bike motor. Um, pretty much, uh, you know, not to help me tow this, but um, it actually is a big help while I'm towing. <laughs> So that's actually very cool, very awesome. Um, if you guys haven't uh, seen that video, go check it out. I'll have it up in the upper right hand corner for you guys here. Um, but yeah, we're just trying to clean off as much as we can, as much dust and dirt. Um, so we have the op most optimum um, sticking area. So right now I have a little, uh, what do they call that? One of those Lysol wipe uh, wipes to wipe down the edges here. And as you can kind of see, it kind of looks like it's brand new all over again. Carol's probably happy. He's like, he's washing it. Oh, crap. <laughs> so here we go. Now we're going to see how much of this we need on here. So it looks like we might be able to do a third on this. So I might try to cut this into thirds. So I'm going to do one small section across the top on that line there. So we're just going to do a quick cut. Now if you guys are very picky, and want something exact, obviously you can measure it and um, you know, do your thing. But right now I'm just, I'm not trying to be perfect or exact. It doesn't bug me too much. Like I said, right now I'm just looking for safety. And as we cut it here. Boom, all right, there goes one. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right. So once you have it, you just start to peel. Boom. And stick and just get it as straight as possible. Like I gotta say, just try to get it as straight as possible. Like I said, once it's on, especially on a smooth surface, it's gonna stick on there, so you don't have to worry about it coming out or anything like that. It's actually on there very strong. Like on the on the stroller where it's coming up on those edges, on the flat parts, it's really strong and it doesn't want to pull off easy. But look at that, guys. That actually looks really good. So first part is done. Look at that. And we'll come over to the front edge, do it again right here. And then I'll show you just one more. 
um, just so you guys can kind of, again, just see how easy it is. Uh, but again, we're going to want to cut a section here. So right before the curve here again. No, 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 I'm gonna cut the red side again. And main reason I'm cutting the red side, so it kind of looks like it was done on purpose. And put it right there. All right, so I got the tape peeled off. Again, starting at a straight spot right there. So as you guys can kind of see there, boom, boom, right across the top. It's already looking good. And that's uh, two pieces so far, and I still have two small red pieces. And yeah, so let me kind of go and finish every, uh, every spot on here, and I'll let you guys kind of see what I did when I'm done here. Overall, it took about 20, well, no, it was 25 minutes, actually. Um, you had to clean and stick and cut and put everything on there. Uh, so it was actually pretty quick. Um, obviously, as I was doing that, he decided to start climbing into the trailer and playing around inside of it. So I thought that was pretty cool. He was like, oh, what are we doing? But um, I'll kind of do a close-up of everything that I've done on the uh, trailer so far so you guys can kind of take a look at that. Um, but overall, I did start off from the... Uh, the trailer, um, the trailer, uh, what, do they, what do they call it on here? The trailer nose here, um, and then went towards the uh, rear part of the frame, towards the wheels. Then did the rear portion of the uh, of the trailer, um, so it kind of looks like it has uh, rear tail lights. Obviously, there's no lights. Um, we do use lights on here just as a safety as well. But um, I figured another strip of uh, reflective tape wouldn't hurt. Um, we also then went around on the other side and as well as the inside of the uh, trailer tongue as well. Uh, so other than that guys, it was actually pretty easy. Pretty easy, wasn't it, huh? He's like, yes it was, you're all wet. And so I'm gonna probably jump in that pool to pull off. Um, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your summer as well. Um, but I just thought this would be a great video to kind of uh, showcase what you could do to your stroller and your trailer or pretty much anything else that might be rolling. Uh, just look for some flat spots, um, make sure the curve isn't too much, and other than that, just stick them right on and they actually hold on amazingly well. Uh, keep in mind guys, like I was saying, these are for uh, trucks and trailers. And when I say trucks and trailers, like semi-trailers, you could probably have them on regular trailers, but um, it is a nice uh, nice thing to have just so you're adding more safety to your vehicle. But anyway, guys, I know I think he's starting to get tired. He's probably getting burnt out from being out here in the heat and inside the water. So it's probably going to be time for a nap nap while I go in the pool. But anyway, guys, we'll see you later. Peace. And don't forget, smash that like. Helps us out with the engagements. And if you guys have any questions, check them out in the description below. And if you want to look at the product, I have them in the description as well. Anyway, guys, peace. See you guys later. Woo! Woo!